Here in Washington, D.C., the voices of rural America's farmers and ranchers are represented by egg advocacy organizations and groups that fight for the rights of rural America. And one phrase that is being echoed by many agricultural organizations is GMO labeling. And with Vermont's mandatory GMO labeling law coming into effect July 1st, this may have a huge impact on sugar beet producers across our region. Well, as everybody knows that the, the Vermont law is a problem because that is being essentially dictated on all the other states in the U.S. So we need the Congress to step up and pass a federal standard if, uh, and make sure that the law is really right, correct, and we're working on that. Uh, I think Chairman Roberts and uh, Ranking Member Stabenow uh, are trying to work through that. As we know, it is not an easy solution. Uh, but I think over time that will get done over the next few weeks uh, and industry is working to try to uh, help them get that done. National Farmers Union held their annual convention this March in Minneapolis. Uh, we actually changed our policy and we are now in support of a voluntary GMO label. But we want, we want to make sure that it is clear, that it is truthful, that it is easy to find uh, on there and that it provides the information that the consumer wants. But, you know, the consumers these days are asking for more and more information about how their food is produced, where it came from, what's in it, and, and GMO is one of those questions out there. We've been clear from the get-go that we, we are strongly favorable of a, a voluntary approach. Something we've made clear to both the House and Senate as they've been working through this. We understand that a compromise may need to be reached and we'd like to get some of that sorted out. But again, a compromise suggests that both sides are kind of coming to the middle. That's been a little more of a challenge on some parts of this. Uh, we've got some strong policy that our grassroots gave us uh, that opposes a mandatory approach. And that's one of the things we're trying to sort out. But it is something that we've got to get this fixed uh, and we've got to do it in a way that gives us a national standard, a voluntary process that uh, the companies the food processors can follow, uh, and some standardized approaches that will allow us to, uh, to, to take this information and get it out to consumers. Many agriculture groups agree a solution to GMO labeling needs to be found and found soon. Reporting from Washington, D.C., I'm Lane Nordlund.